My name is Josh Timrick. I've been with Nicholson for five years now. I'm currently the project manager out here at Prairie du Sac. It's a small town just north of Madison, Wisconsin. We're out here at the, the Prairie du Sac Hydro Facility doing a retrofit to the dam. We did a test program for a couple months, kind of learning what's out here and to help us develop the final design and get to 100%. The original dam here that you see is over 100 years old and it was originally founded on wooden piles. What happened over time is the tailwaters began to recede and so they're lower exposing the wooden timbers to air, water, air, water, uh, which caused them to deteriorate. But this is the full you know, retrofit of the dam to make it last another 75 years. To the best of our knowledge, a job like this has never been done. Typically when you're repairing dams and doing retrofits, it's uh, you know, a lot of grouting, coring, uh, cutoff walls, big anchors that are, are tying down the dams that involve you know, big strand anchors. This, we're actually installing micro piles, which is a common technique for underpinning, but not to this large scale and on a dam. Right, we have two operations. We're working up on barges and actually drilling through the gallery uh, where piles would terminate down there. And then we're also drilling out on the apron to support the dam as well as allow loading uh, of the dam in the future. And there's 984 piles in total that we're putting in. As well as that, we're down inside the gallery working. That'll end up being a, a continuous transfer beam that goes you know, the thousand foot of the dam, tying everything back together and basically making it one big system. The design is capable of supporting the entire dam, assuming no soils, no wood piles. So it's, it's really a, a unique design and, and a, a challenging project for sure for us. The main focus being from the client was do no harm to the dam. So out here we have uh, what's called an AMPS. It's just a monitoring basically total stations. And there's one on each side of the dam as well as the middle. And they all talk to each other and tie back to common points. Basically allow us to see if the dam's moving up to like eighth, eighth inch tolerance. We can see any little movements that challenging and, and, and not just being an everyday job. It's just very unique and getting to be a part of that. Seeing the project from start to finish and be out here with the guys on a daily basis and, and interacting with them, they get just as much pride out of completing the job and doing it well as, as anybody. And to see that and help them through it and work through these challenges, that's probably the most rewarding for me.